What's up guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how to optimize your Mac for gaming. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. First of all, click on the magnifying glass icon in your menu bar and look up Activity Monitor. Your Activity Monitor will allow you to preview which applications and processes are running on your Mac, as well as how much of your CPU and GPU resources they are using up. Ideally, you should reduce the amount of resource-intensive apps running on your Mac to a minimum. These include your browser, such as Google Chrome, Discord, Teams, Zoom, and so on. Use the shortcut Command and Tab to see a list of applications which are still running on your system. You can then use the shortcut Command and Q to force quit out of the application. Alternatively, you can also click on the Apple icon in your menu bar and select Force Quit. Next, select the program and click on Force Quit again. In some cases, you will be warned that unsaved progress might be deleted, so make sure that all of your files and documents are saved before closing the applications. After closing most applications, you should see that your CPU and memory loads will be reduced, making room for the game you intend to play on your Mac. The next step is to ensure enough available disk space on your system. Having a low amount of storage space left can cause a lag and other issues while in-game. To preview your overall storage usage, click on the Apple icon again and then select About this Mac. In the storage section, it might need a second to load your storage information and you can then see how much is being used up by your apps, photos, your operating system, time machine and so on. To quickly free up some storage, you can proceed to empty your bin by right-clicking it in your dock. You can also uninstall unneeded applications and delete watched movies in iTunes for example. All of these steps should quickly free up some storage, which can help run any game on your machine. When this is done, we will take a look at your system preferences. Here, navigate to displays. If your Mac is connected to an external monitor, then make sure that your display settings are optimized for the display you're intending on using. Set the resolution option to default for display. This will in some cases increase your native display resolution to 4K, which should be reduced again in your in-game settings. Below, set the refresh rate option to the highest available refresh rate. Back in your main settings, click on Software Update. You should make sure that you're running the latest macOS version. Click on Update Now, which will take some time to download the latest update. You will then be prompted to restart your Mac. Restarting your system will in turn also improve your overall performance while in-game. If you wish to play games that require a network connection, such as PvP, FPS games or an MMO, then I suggest testing your network connection on speedtest.net or fast.com. Both sites are a great tool to quickly preview your average upload and download speed as well as your server latency. If you're experiencing a fluctuating download speed, or if your latency is over 100 milliseconds, then you should make a few changes to your network connection. Try to use an Ethernet cable if you can, instead of using a Wi-Fi connection. In addition, you should restart your router or modem in case you haven't done this in a while. After making sure that you're using a reliable network connection, you should also disable any VPN connection that you might be using. A VPN will in any case induce lag while trying to play games online. Next, before optimizing your in-game settings, you should also make sure that your Mac, if it's a MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, is plugged in and not in a low power mode to preserve battery life. You can then launch the game and optimize your in-game settings. This should include adjusting your display resolution, playing in full screen mode, and potentially lowering your details and effect settings. More tips and information regarding gaming on macOS 
can be found in my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.